the research that I do is related to using media radar systems to measure the winds in the upper atmosphere. The research has taken me to both uh, the Arctic and the Antarctic regions, um, working in Barrow, Alaska, and uh, also working in Antarctica and at the South Pole. In the Northern Hemisphere, uh, the, the, uh, the coastal region um, is very different. In, uh, in Barrow, uh, I'm comparing to uh, McMurdo Sound. Uh, in Antarctica, which is on the coast of Antarctica, which has a, a large ice sheet and it's not open open water, whereas in the um, in the Arctic, there's uh, open water. The ice comes and goes in the summertime as a function of, of the wind. So it's different different characteristics there. Um, also, a lot more uh, flora and fauna that I've seen in the um, in the Arctic than you see in the Antarctic. More biodiversity. In Barrow, I've seen the uh, Arctic fox. Um, I've also seen a snowy owl. Uh, I have not seen a polar bear, but uh, many other people have. It's it's very um, very active. A lot of polar bears in in Barrow. I haven't seen any direct evidence of uh, pollution, but I do know that uh, again, both in Barrow and at the South Pole. There are sites operated by uh, NOAA, which is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, uh, which measure the air quality in both of those sites and have been monitoring the air quality for 25 years and can uh, provide some information on whether there's been significant changes. Um, I think the, you know, the most exciting moments are the, doing the field work. Um, I deploy instruments, as I mentioned, uh, I have an instrument in Barrow, we have an instrument at the South Pole, and the, so the exciting parts about doing that are going to a remote location and your instrument isn't working and you got to figure out how to get it to work. And one of the examples I've given to people is you're at the South Pole, you get there once a year, uh, so the flight comes, you have a limited amount of time, maybe you're there for five days or a week to get the instrument running and it's not working and you have to get it fixed and have it working before you leave on that flight, otherwise you don't get data for the next year. Uh, and so the, that sort of, the, you know, really, when you get that to work, it's kind of that feeling of, wow, you know, this is really uh, exciting. I think the best part of the job, um, besides the, uh, the, the places you get to go, which is obviously very exciting, um, and the, the fulfillment you get from doing research that you feel is, is uh, truly meaningful, is the people. It's a great community of people. It's enjoyable. We have, you know, great interactions um, talking about our, our work and I think that really, really makes the field a wonderful field to do work in.